the tester was um this show. It was kind of a bullshit show. Kind of a bullshit kind show. Kind of a bullshit show. The tester was a reality show created by Sony. It was basically one big advertisement for their games, and in the third and final season, Ego Raptor, or Aaron Hansen of Game Grumps, as he is now more commonly known, was voted onto the show by his fans. According to Google, only 35% of people like this show, but it can't be that bad, can it? Well, that's what I want to find out here today. Here's the tester experience. So don't you worry, person watching this video. Uh, I don't hate myself enough to watch this entire fucking show. We're just gonna watch the tester up until uh, Mr. Aaron Ego Raptor Hansen gets removed from the show. I don't know if PlayStation Selected Network is a sign. Okay. Dedicated gamers. Wait, so if they win, they get to work at Sony? <laughs> what are they doing to Aaron? I don't look like a gamer, but I know my shit. The I don't look like a gamer. It was done. The ambiance is crazy. Not just the ambiance per se, but dude, the shorties that came to this show. You got your little, little fiery redhead. No pale gothic chick. Oh, something that tells me there's gonna Asians be some uh, some misogyny in yeah, this yeah. show. We set it all. Of course, Asians are at the top of my boat. <laughs> what the fuck? I uh, I just realized while I was fixing something for the recording. This like to dislike ratio. <laughs> People really fucking love this show. Welcome, guys. We are back for season three of The Tester. How did we get three seasons? Get off that game and let's go, girl. The <laughs> See, I like that. Aaron has way more character than any of these fuckers. Anyways, at this point, they get given their first challenge, which is to be interviewed by one of the heads of Santa Monica Studios while their head is in a box full of cockroaches. I have a very bad phobia of bugs, so I chose to skip through almost all of it, other than Aaron's interview, which went poorly, to say the least, because he basically just gave away, yeah, he's there for the uh, attention and uh, his fans. So yeah, I'm just going to skip straight to the results because I know nobody wants to fucking see that. An international model, fierce gamer. And FIERCE GAMER! So don't expect any coddling She's a gamer! On who the winner of that was, Reality Pales. Good for him. Melted. You know, he seems like so a pretty excited. nice guy too. I am so stoked. Congratulations, Reality Pales. You I wish I knew his actual fucking name. Ego Raptor. I know a thing or two about shameless self-promotion. Oh, me I too! Guess. I mean, what have you got to say for yourself? I want to be an entertaining part of this show. That being said, that's not the only interest that I have. My first thought is, be honest. Don't bullshit them. Don't try to justify something that wasn't right. Exactly. I have a lot of experience already in game making, as well as uh, game analysis, and I think I have a unique view on what makes games good, and, and I'll try to move forward and try to grow from this. It's hard to read the panel. I feel like everyone's kind of staring daggers at me. Well, they are, they, they have to hate you. There's 10 beds in the loft. There was 12 of you, and now there's 11. I'll let you stay. You can have a spot on the couch. But thank Christ, I'll, I'll make you proud. I feel like they gave him a second chance because he was the fan voted contestant. True. It, it, it seems totally unfair. <laughs> but at the same time, I do oh, feel they that hate him too. That's great. Deserve. Congratulations, gamers. Congratulations, now, gamers. So after the first episode, I think I can safely say, yeah, this entire show is just going to be advertising for, uh, for 2000, 2012 PlayStation. Ooh. Episode 2's like-dislike ratio is even fucking worse. At this point, my recording fucked up, so we're gonna skip halfway through episode 2. So their first challenge of the day was to uh, choose one person from each team. Uh, by the way, they split themselves into teams. Uh, and see who could be a boss the fastest in the at-the-time new Twisted Metal game. Uh, 
the team with Aaron lost and their punishment uh, for losing was getting a sixth team member that would make the next challenge basically impossible. Uh, so the next challenge was basically to build an ice cream truck, shoot some targets with it, uh, and that's it. During this challenge, everyone on Aaron's team, other than Aaron and the cool guy, basically, are yelling at the Dominican girl for speaking Spanish, despite that having nothing to do with anything. Also, the test judge is the guy who created Twisted Metal and worked on God of War David Jaffe, I think his name is. That's all you really need to know about this challenge, so let's just get midway through it, I guess. We had Achilles. I'm gonna let this guy pull. Asian chick, sniper, automatic. What this the is what fuck? Racism too now! Of course! This show is from eight years ago. Did anybody want this fucker to win? He's a misogynist. He's a racist. Buddy. <laughs> Please. You guys aren't gonna let two girls beat you in the building, are you? What the fuck, dude? Days. Okay, so I haven't finished episode two yet. I'll get to that. Uh, but I'm downloading the episode so I can watch them without the struggle of YouTube buffering. The dislike ratio uh, is worse than ever. <laughs> Only has one bolt left before they're ready to go. Woo! Let's go! Let's Wait, fucking go! No, I need the big nut! Big there nut! You go. Take it! Take it! Stop big nut! Big right. nut! When we started, yes. We were hauling ass. We wanted to get done as quickly as possible because we knew we had a disadvantage. And then all of a sudden, it's this guy, and she's talking in Spanish. Wow, you honestly think you would have won if she wouldn't have spoke a few words in Spanish? That's, that, 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 that that's crazy. That I did not. Exactly. I hope she's going I, home. I, I, no, she's up there with redhead. Keep going, keep going, I going, hate her too. Talking. I was looking at you. Burn. As soon as they, they turned to me. That's good. That's good because I, I she's the worst out of all of them. But let me just say this. I feel like this show is like justifying the misogyny that's, that's that is very prominent in it just by having the most genuinely unlikable no, female contestants because I hate I almost all of them. Ass. But then we were giving and the, the one I didn't hate was eliminated in the first episode. Like Asuka, your game ends here. Okay, you know what? He's turning your back. I wish the redhead was gone first, but fuck her too, so whatever. Oh, okay. Surprised Aaron was the person she went to a hug for first. One mistake too many and it's gone. Maybe it's because you were a fucking prick. Wait, does he have a tail? Are we not gonna get an explanation as to why this guy has a tail? Right. This is the end. She's talking in Spanish. I don't understand Spanish. Wow, you honestly think you would have won if she wouldn't have spoke? See, the thing I like about David Jaffe, he had some honesty. I like the guy. No one really truly believes that she's actually a gamer and that she knows her shit. Being loud. Fuck off. This guy definitely has passion, but it's passion for attention. And attention is exactly what she got from David Jaffe at the elimination. Good. She deserved it. You fuckers didn't. Yes, I, I might have drama with Suskaiden, but now we're on the same team again. Like, let's just squash this. Oh, look at that. That's oh, good for you. At least you're not a petty asshole, you're just an asshole. We might just die right now. I wish you would. Model, reality star, gamer. For like the one dude out there who doesn't know who Nolan North is, he's the voice actor for Nathan Drake. Oh, okay. That's sick. So yeah, the, the prize for winning this challenge was a book written by the voice actor of Nathan Drake. Uh, it was written in like the voice of Nathan Drake, you know, so like it's a Nathan Drake book, but it's actually written by the guy who plays him. Uh, and a meeting with the voice actor who played Nathan Drake. Uh, so, that's it. That's the prize. That's cool. We already know how this episode ends, though. Our boy loses. I'm not even looking back, and I'm sliding under them like Metal Gear, knees to arms, cutting up my elbows, slicing my fingers. It was really <laughs> intense. Come on, come on. I feel like this guy would be funny if he was likable. See, the issue with this show is that the suspense comes from knowing when the likable person is going to leave and for what reason, instead of who is going to leave. Let go. Ah, Poggers. 
Pog champ. I'm curious. I'm curious to see exactly how they reason getting rid of Aaron. Hey, maybe the show wouldn't have gotten canceled if they had more likable people. You know, her and Suskai kind of squashed any beef that was between them. The first question the judges asked her, it's, it's go, everything's going out the window at this point, and I'm just, I'm irritated. Just, exactly. I can't Fuck. Burn. Else. You figured out almost immediately how to get, how to, how to hit the target with the melon, and I would have anticipated that you would have stuck around to show somebody else how to do it. So it seemed like there was no communication. Oh, okay. I'll admit that's a good point. I mean, going back, I would have probably done that different now. As a team, you had a goal, and you missed it by one minute. So the question is, what could you have done as a team or any individual team member to speed that up? Okay, so, so they're literally kicking point. Aaron out because he was too succeed. good at it. I feel like Saskia is causing unnecessary drama in the house. The moment they question Are her, you fucking she goes kidding me. Exactly. She's right. I don't even dislike her anymore. You know, she's just literally saying the truth. These people are just bullying her. To see someone who wants this job so much to go just because someone shut good the at fuck speaking. up without you know telling someone else they suck. Yeah, but, burn. Uh, fuck you, burn. For that reason, I'm sorry. Your game ends here. Fucking kick. He. They uh, literally admitted he did the best the job in the challenge. Ego Raptor, I'm gonna have to ask you to please turn in your badge. I have faith in myself to continue doing what I'm doing and and. Even if this opportunity is, you know, down the drain, there's always a ton more, and I'm always willing to work towards them. I just want to thank all you guys out there who voted for me. It's been a great experience, and it's all thanks to you. I hope I did you guys justice. Oh, you did. The rest of the show fucking bombed. Exactly. Jesus. See, she's reasonable. Actually. Well, shit. I still see two people who we don't feel really did that well. Please yeah. tell me Burn is gone. You know, I thought it was really Let me get the ultimate to justice. Burn. To me, it's not really a popularity contest. I'm sorry. Burn, your game ends here. Yes, fuck yes! Thank Burn. Christ! Anything can happen. Anything can happen? Does that include the series' cancellation? So yeah, this, this series, it's not worth watching. Don't waste your time. I hate myself for watching any of this. Yeah. Anyway, bye. Before this video ends, I would just like to thank my channel members, Zachary Neifert, Lovely, and the fake Sylveon and RC. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.